a Jacksonville crime analyst believes that the shooter at large could be from a rival group in Jacksonville where Julio Fulio. I told him that a couple times, you know, we talk, we be talking time to time, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we know what, what could happen. In a shocking twist, the feds might be closing in on Yanines, linking him to the tragic passing of his rival, Julio Fulio. Just hours after Fulio's sudden and brutal demise, Ace dropped a savage diss track, Do It, sending shockwaves through the internet. Fans are buzzing, speculating if Ace's lyrics are more than just words. Could he be hinting at his involvement in this deadly feud? The rivalry between Ak and Kitia has been fierce, but this latest development takes it to a whole new level. Dive into the scandal, the drama, and the fiery aftermath as we uncover the jaw dropping details of this rap beef turned deadly. Well, Florida rapper Julio Fulio was shot and killed in Tampa overnight. Fulio, whose legal name is Charles Jones, was celebrating his 26th birthday. As the story unfolds, the feud between Ak and Kitty seems more entrenched and dangerous than ever. The bitter rivalry has left a trail of devastation with countless lives lost and families shattered. Julio Fulio's demise, while shocking, is just the latest chapter in this brutal saga. That this could lead to even more violence, more shootings in Jacksonville. That's because that is where this rapper was from, and he did have a long standing history. Interestingly enough, the roots of this feud can be traced back to personal vendettas that escalated into a full blown gang war. Julio Fulio, whose real name was Charles Jones, had been a prominent figure in the Jacksonville rap scene, often embroiled in controversies and retaliatory violence. His music and social media presence frequently mocked fallen rivals, which only intensified the animosity between the opposing factions. One insider revealed, this isn't just about music or street cred anymore. It's about revenge and sending a message. This sentiment echoes throughout the community where every slight, every diss track seems to feel the fire further. Fulio's assassination at the Holiday Inn while celebrating his 26th birthday was a carefully orchestrated move, reminiscent of the ambushes seen in mafia movies. The details are murky, but sources suggest that the hit was meticulously planned, exploiting Fulio's publicized movements. He, he got what he wanted, like he got the, like, he got the, the fans, like, you know what I'm saying? He got, he, he went up, so now he got what he wanted, so now it's like. In a dramatic twist, Fulio's attorney, Louis Fusco, pointed out the stark reality of Fulio's life behind the fame. He was a kid who grew up in challenging circumstances determined to defy the odds, Fusco said. Yet, the odds seemed ever against him, despite surviving multiple attempts on his life, including shootings in 2021 and 2020, the young rapper could not escape his fate. As we delve deeper, the intricate web of retaliation and violence between Ak and KD becomes evident. The feud, fueled by social media taunts and diss tracks, has turned deadly multiple times. In 2017, Fulio's cousin Zion Malik Brown was murdered, a pivotal event that escalated tensions. This was followed by a retaliatory attack in 2018, where Yunjin Ace, real name Kenyatta Bullard, was shot along with his friends. Ace survived, but the incident left three dead, including his brother, marking a point of no return for both sides. At the end of the day, I feel like the losses out outweigh the wins for everyone involved because you can never bring... Because yeah, you can't never beat the streets. Yeah, you can't bring your brother back. What no one expected was the sheer resilience of these young men who seemed almost invincible at times. Fulio himself had boasted about surviving multiple assassination attempts, including an incident where his car was riddled with bullets. Over five attempts on my life, and I am still here, a real demigod, he once posted on Instagram. This constant state of danger and survival has become a macabre badge of honor in their world, where each day, alive is a victory. Because I went really dropping on World Star then. Then I went to dropping on World Star for the first time, and like everything went to picking up, like my views, my following, and everything. This leads us to the question what drives this relentless cycle of violence? For many, it's about respect and revenge. The demises of friends and family members are avenged through further acts of violence, each side unwilling to back down. Fulio's demise is a stark reminder of the high stakes involved. It wasn't just another shooting. It was a declaration of war. A Jacksonville crime analyst believes that the shooter at large could be from a rival group in Jacksonville. Police are now on high alert, anticipating further clashes between these groups. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, alongside federal agencies, is scrambling to prevent an all-out bloodbath. We're not going to tolerate any retribution, any revenge, Sheriff TK Waters declared. But can law enforcement really stem the tide of violence that has become so ingrained in these communities? The danger is palpable. At and Kiti, names shrouded in mystery and fear, symbolize a new kind of warfare where music and crime intersect. At, often interpreted as Ace's top or aim to kill, and KT, kill them all, are more than acronyms. They're battle cries in an ongoing conflict that shows no signs of abating. As Fulio's story comes to a tragic end, the community grapples with the aftermath. Fans mourn the loss of a talented artist 
while others fear the inevitable retaliation. The feud has already claimed too many lives, and yet the cycle of violence persists. Every diss track, every taunt, every social media post adds fuel to the fire. Said that he thinks that the beef will, will end sooner than later. It sounds like he wants to figure out a way to squash it. Could it be that this deadly dance will never end? One can only speculate about the future of these young rappers and their followers. Will there be a resolution or are we witnessing the beginning of an even bloodier chapter? One thing is certain, the streets of Jacksonville will remember Julio Fulio not just for his music, but for the bloody feud that defined his life. In a chilling reminder of the feud's reach, Fulio's brother, Adrian Gaynor Jr., known as Bibby, lost his life in 2019, an act that Kata avenged with ruthless efficiency. The violent back and forth has created a legacy of loss and pain that haunts both sides. Each demise sparks a new round of violence, a grim testament to the deep-seated hatred and rivalry. Something about Jacksonville, Florida, my own hometown, they just hate me, bro. I don't know why. I can't tell you why. I don't know why. As the tension between Ak and Kita escalates, the focus now turns to you, Jinjinais, and the shocking diss track do it, released just hours after Fulio's demise. The track, dripping with provocative lyrics, has fans and critics alike wondering if Ace is boldly hinting at his involvement in Fulio's demise. Catch him and finish him, you know he's done. Ace raps, a line that sent chills through the rap community and ignited a firestorm of speculation. Could it be that Ace was waiting for this moment? The timing of the track's release is too perfect to be coincidental, leading many to believe that Ace had inside knowledge of the attack. It's almost as if he knew what was coming. The track was ready to drop the moment the news broke. This revelation begs the question, was this diss track a mere coincidence or was it a calculated move in the deadly chess game between Ak and Kite? So when I drop my shit, I guess people felt like I was wrong, but I'm like, how, how I'm wrong, bro? I'm just defending myself and my my brothers and my dead brothers and my team, you know what I'm saying? Interestingly enough, this isn't the first time Ace has been at the center of controversy. His previous diss track, Who I Smoke, famously taunted the demises of Folio's associates, further inflaming the already volatile situation. Folio retaliated with When I See You, a haunting track that sampled news coverage of the murder of Ace's brother, is back. And Fourth of Musical Violence has created an atmosphere where each release is not just a song, but a declaration of war. As the authorities delve deeper into the case, rumors are swirling that a warrant for Young Ace's arrest is imminent. The feds, it seems, are piecing together a case that links the lyrics of do it to the actual events surrounding Fulio's demise. One law enforcement source hinted, we're looking into all angles and nothing is off the table. This leads us to the question, is Ace's bravado in his music about to land him in serious legal trouble? So far, no suspects have been named in this and Tampa police are asking for more information from anyone that has it about this shooting. In a dramatic twist, reports suggest that Ace's camp is already preparing for the worst. Legal teams are on high alert, and sources close to the rapper indicate that he is ready to fight any charges that may come his way. The anticipation is palpable as fans and foes alike wait to see if Ace will be caught in the legal net. One fan commented, Bro didn't even wait for the body to get cold yet, highlighting the ruthless nature of this feud. The community is divided, with some seeing Ace's actions as a bold statement of dominance, while others view it as a reckless and dangerous move. The social media buzz has been relentless, with users debating whether Ace's actions are those of a strategic mastermind or a self-destructive force. They make the Fed's job too easy, one user remarked, pointing out the inherent risks of such blatant provocations. The cycle of violence seems unbreakable, with each side entrenched in a perpetual state of retaliation. Fulio's demise is just the latest in a long line of casualties in this war of attrition. Every diss track, every social media post, every public appearance is a potential flashpoint for further violence. The streets of Jacksonville are a powder keg, with the community bracing for the next explosion. This leads us to the heart of the issue, the cultural and societal factors that perpetuate this cycle of violence. Music producer PD808 lamented, it's ignorance. I hate to say it, but it's ignorance. It's a trend right now with a lot of youth that I got to prove something. This sentiment is echoed by many who see the glorification of violence in rap music as a contributing factor to the real-life bloodshed. The industry, they argue, is complicit in perpetuating a culture where young artists feel compelled to prove their toughness through acts of violence. But I ain't really, I ain't really give a f about it. Cause that's just what to do. Draw this songs and shit. Yeah. Yeah. As we continue to watch this tragic saga unfold, the question remains, will there ever be an end to this cycle of retribution? Or are we doomed to witness an endless loop of violence and loss? One thing is certain, the legacy of this feud will be remembered for years to come. A dark chapter in the annals of hip hop history. Fan opinions on this ongoing feud provide a fascinating and sometimes troubling glimpse into how the public perceives the violence surrounding these young artists. One comment that has garnered attention suggests a conspiracy involving local businesses. The Airbnb owner Robert got Fulio kicked out early, as he has ties to the rival gang via a taco business, which is located close to the crime scene. 
Another comment sheds light on the broader societal issue contributing to the cycle of violence. That's the outcome when bored kids can buy weapons on every corner. This observation highlights the accessibility of firearms as a critical factor in the escalating violence, pointing to a systemic problem that extends beyond individual feuds. The ease with which young people can obtain weapons perpetuates a culture of retribution and danger. And there you have it, the chilling and complex tale of young Ines, Giulio Fulio, and the deadly feud between Atk and Kita. What do you think? Is young Ines' diss track a bold confession or just another provocative move in their ongoing rivalry? And with the feds potentially closing in, will Ace's bravado lead to serious legal consequences? Share your thoughts in the comments below and join the conversation. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, stay safe and stay informed.